married to a drug dealer. The story I'm going to tell you today causes me much distress. So much distress it was hard for me to sleep last night thinking about it. What could have been. It was a horrible thought. One, one moment out of my life could have changed my life forever for the worse. But I had a praying mother. A praying mother. Even when I was married to the drug dealer. The drug dealer and I, when we were married, we decided to move to North Charleston, South Carolina. And I was warned by my family to stay away from a certain area that was very bad. I think it was called Spurl, Spurl, something like that. It was an avenue. And I never been there, I didn't know anything about it. But I rented a trailer close to my husband's work. He was working at the time in North Charleston, South Carolina. And we rented the trailer. And when I rented there, I came from West Virginia, a very rural place. I didn't even have to worry about shutting my, locking my door at night, let alone locks. But I, when I rented that trailer, there was locks from the top of the door to the bottom. I asked the landlady, I was like, what is this? Why so many locks? She said, everyone is important. Make sure you lock everyone. I came from a very rural area, so I didn't really pay attention. One day when the ex-husband, when the husband went to work, I needed to make a phone call and there was a phone booth. This is before cell phones, guys, sorry. There was a phone booth around the block. I thought, okay, it's the middle of daytime, it's noon. My brother was living with us. He was in his room asleep because he worked nights. And I had my child, I had flip-flops and shorts on. I thought I was safe, I saw other people out and about. So I walked the block, I walked around the block to the payphone. Nobody answered when I tried to call. And um, there was two men working over there. They stopped working and was staring at me. Give me the heebie-jeebies, I didn't know what was going on. Then there was this little brown truck that kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. An older gentleman in there. I didn't know about that either. It just scared me. I didn't know what to think with all these people. And then I thought, okay, I got to get home. I got to get home. I'm in danger here. I got to get home. And then a white van pulled up and kind of drove real slow around me, close to me. He went on by. I thought, okay, I got to get now. So I started, I took off walking as fast as I could where well, the white van circled back and came back at me and stopped where I was at just so happened there was no house there so I I started walking into the grass and he started yelling for me and one in directions no I wasn't about to stop I wasn't about to talk to him and he persisted and kept trying to talk to me and kept trying to talk to me if I went up to that van I would have been lost. I would have been lost. My child would have been lost. He would have kidnapped me and that would have been the end of me. But I kept walking. There was a group of my neighbors. I never met them. I just moved in here. But I ran up to them and started talking to them. And the van went ahead and circled the block, went by me real slow, didn't, didn't try to talk to me anymore while I was talking to the neighbors. And when he was out of sight, I ran to my house. Ran in the house, locked the door, went to my brother's, and we watched the road from his bedroom window. And that white van circled back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, looking for me. I had a praying mother. At that time, I wasn't serving the Lord, but my mother was. She was praying. Thank God for a praying mother. One moment of my life, could have changed everything. The book of Proverbs, Old Testament, you should read it. Chapter 16, verse 9. A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. The Lord establishes his steps. The Lord. The Lord had my life. 
where he wanted to do and the devil wasn't going to take it a praying mother be a praying mother be a praying grandmother be a, be a praying wife pray for your family your kids your grown kids 